And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got open-air baseball for you on the show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Ladies and gentlemen, your New York Mets. So one out, nobody on. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Sal Fraley. Three for nine of the series coming in. Sal Fraley. And the right-hander deals. And there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Runner on at first with one gone. And stepping in for New York, Steve Rogers. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Check on the runner, Mitchell. Back easily. Back over to first. And he's back in that time as well. Stay hot right now. Stay hot. Hey, stay hot now. That's real. Base hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Terrain with a relay throw. Tag safe at home. And it's 1-0. Well, tack one more game onto his hitting streak, Boob. Every day, this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. Man, it's second with one away. Now it's the DH. Heston Kerstad. The designated hitter. Swung on, belt it. Deep. That one went back there, and that one's going to land not so much here, but here. A towering home run. His 13th home run of the season. It's 3 0. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Base is empty with two away. Jeffrey Ramos up now for the Brewers. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field but he can jump you if you make a mistake what a stop over to first it's there and that's a great play well that right there was all pre-pitch positioning put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play man at first so up next for New York, Steve Rogers. The batter. This guy has the turned into a beast. Steve he's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Lying, and that's a base hit. Bro comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Next is the designated hitter, Heston Kerstad. He's already Keep homered driving. in this game. Here comes a pitch. Hey. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Now batting, catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno up now for the Mets. Moreno having more success against left-handed pitching this Not season, pitch, huh? as might go. be expected. Go. 
And a count one and two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, yeah, Boog. He rewards better. pitchers Let's when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Terang over to pick it up. Tosses to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. New pitcher on now, Ethan Small. We all got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We play two full. It's the Mets five and the Brewers nothing. Come on, guy. And next for the Mets, Steve Rogers. A switch hitter batting right. Siggy, so he's batting. got a history of coming no through in the big spots. Steve. I know I like to talk Roger. about I'm not sure whether clutch yeah, actually yeah. exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Oh, nice drive. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Ramos fires it to the plate. In there. He scores. And it's now a six-run lead. First pitch swing in. Went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Heston Kerstad. He's now already homer here in this one. Hitter. Pickoff throw. Yes, they get the tag on him, and that's the second out. Now here is Jeffrey Ramos. The batter, the left fielder, Jeffrey Ramos. And the pitch. Swag and a bouncer. Rogers collects it. And there's two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work now behind him with another ground Good ball. Stop. Good execution. Terang. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now ready it's the go. shortstop, the Steve Rogers. The shortstop. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. Two. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Way back there. Go! That ball was crushed. A solo shot. His 56th home run of the season. And they tack one on the board. It's 9 3. He dropped the barrel right there. Got a fastball down at the knees where he'd prefer it. So many times now, guys are having to adjust to the elevated fastball. So I'm sure his eyes got big when he saw that one coming. Two outs, runner at first. And stepping in is the speedy Sal Fralick. One for the two. Fielder, Sal Fralick. Hey, shut him down right here. Out to short. Gets it to first, and that will end the inning. Brewers strand one. Still way back. It's 9 3.
So two down now, and here is Steve Rogers. Next, He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. And it may be a long Roger. shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. All right, one time right here. That one hit to right. Makes the catch inning over. Man at first with one gone. Jeffrey Ramos digs in now. The left fielder, Jeffrey. Three two now. Grounder might be two. Off balance feed. There's one, and he'll be safe at first. Now batting, shortstop, Bryce. I'd say these guys really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road, going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence, and you want to be feeling really good about how you're playing, as well as to your left and your right, your teammates, that they're on track as well. 9-6 the final in this one for 